Well, as we move into this new era, what we're finding is that when you want to do innovation and you have a hospital or a division that innovates, it becomes a gigantic science project to spread that across the rest of the company because everyone is configured so differently. So what we're about to do is go from, you know, I wouldn't say Wild West, I'd say a lot of heavy innovation locally in the clinical realm to now more standardization. And what we're trying to do and why we like some of the tools you guys have built is because we want to strike that balance of everyone should, all the terms, terminologies, et cetera, there should be enough standardization that when an innovation comes from a particular area, with little effort, we should be able to scale that across the company. Because really in the end, what it's all about is impact. If you have a great idea and it's, ex it's, it's difficult, expensive, and time consuming to spread it across the company, it wasn't as good an idea as you thought, or you're not able to harvest the benefit of that idea. What we're trying to do is actually make it easier and faster to bring good ideas to improve patient care. Because the sacred task of caring for our families, our families, because all of us, is entrusted to us and we've got to figure out how to actually support innovation and not have it be top-down controlled but at the same time have enough standardization that we're able to actually have that benefit go to six percent of all health care acute care in the US is HCA so if we can figure out an innovation and then scale it across our 182 hospitals one out of every 20 patients benefits we feel like it's a sacred task of ours to figure out how to actually increase the ability to bring innovations across the company rapidly and, and standardization is part of that.